Welcome to another Baka commentary video. In this one will be my analysis slash impression on the RTX 40 series rumors and the much anticipated finally AMD's high-end mobile graphics card, the RX 7900M. For the every tech media that seems to be talking about the RTX 40 series refresh or super, as some people like to call it, on the desktop, the lower end, the 40s, 50s, the 40s, 60s, they doesn't seem to have any space for refresh, and it seems that NVIDIA kind of filled out the lower skew. The 40 series refresh or super is mainly, if we're to look at it, yeah, in the mid to high end, has quite a decent, reasonable amount of headroom. As well, the 4070 refresh. This is probably a very going to be a very interesting card. As well, there's a well for it. As for well, the 4070 Super is it going to be stronger than a 47 Ti, or are they going to be like, hmm, it's going to be weaker than 47 Ti, but it's going to be like so. But the naming scheme, I hope whatever. NVIDIA chooses for the 4070 refresh, I hope you just go, yeah, TI, mm, maybe historically, yeah, super, we're going to give you better value, but considering how NVIDIA it does not give a shit about value, the 4070 super is probably going to be 4070 and just give it 16 gig of VRAM and raise the MSRP and Quietly kill off the 4070 Ti and be like, or be like, yeah, you can either pick a 4070 Super 16 gig or the 4070 Ti same price with 12 gigs of VRAM. That's what I think is going to happen. However, yeah, the 4080 Super, on the other hand, the, the rumor mill is like, oh, there's a 4080 Super um, 102 die version and the 103 die version. The word current version that we are on is 103 die. And what I, and some people are like, oh, this is only going to have the 4080 Super is going to be like, oh, it's just going to be the current 4080 except with the full die. And maybe the same amount of VRAM. My hope is, eh, if this is the case, this is likely the better case. As kind of, well, it's going to be a middle ground between the 4080 and the 4090. It's going to close the gap, but isn't going to exactly. However, the most opium version of this 48 Super, it is the 102 version. I That one was probably going to definitely have 20 gig of GDR6X. And using, again, a slightly even more put down 102 die. But considering how the current world, um... A car, not economy wise, but the you know the cross continental trading. How the the forty ninety is banned. This is very likely the one hundred two die configuration. Very likely not coming as well. If they have are configuring one hundred two die version of forty eighty super, it's likely going to follow the forty ninety. Be banned in country that is not, is already that, that the United States has put on. Be like, no, your country is not allowed to be, to sell. We're not allowed to sell you 4090. Basically, NVIDIA has a lot of incentive to make sure it stays on the 103 die and not use the 102 die as well. It doesn't, it wants to avoid their product beyond the ban list because they are an entity. They like making money. They don't give a shit about you as a consumer. They are mid-maxing every fucking profit they can do with your sale. They, that's all 
the video cares about. They don't care about new fanboyism. Just be like, they, to them, is like, cool. That just means they can fuck you fanboys and milk you fanboys even harder. Now, on to the other topic. The confirmed topic. The RX 7900M. This GB, if we um, from what I can see and from what I see on the internet, it's a, it's performance is in between an RTX 480M and an RTX 4090M with the power consumption of an RTX 4090M. I am really hoping it isn't that the case. Uh, well, one of the premier AMD Advantage laptop is, well, AM is the Framework 16 laptop, and for all we know, that laptop, I believe I looked into a few reviewers, they'd be like, oh yeah, that laptop caps out the barrel jack at 240 watts, and yeah, will it sustain a 150 watt um, RX 7900M, like as it could, but if you're gonna start crawling into 4090M territory, where it starts to use 180 watts and 200 watts, yeah, I think you're not leaving a lot of headroom if, if, if AMD gives it like 200 watts or 180 watts for the RX 7900M. I think if but if this RX 7900M can be 150 watt, I can see it fitting on the Premier uh, um, AMD Advantage laptop. If not, if it is indeed the RX 4090M where it's 180 watts and 200 watt, the only laptop that seems to be announced with this GPU is the Alienware M18. Is this laptop going to be fine for gaming? Yes. If we were to look at the Intel version as two standard M.2, long, long M.2s, and then two short M.2s. But if you are like, I want a workstation AMD Advantage laptop and high end, I don't think this area M18 is going to be a very good choice as well as Alienware, their name is very gaming focused, they are disposable, they make their laptop very cheap and disposable, and they don't really care about workstation stuff. And on this, on top of Grim Sign, if you're actually looking for the RX 7900M, you could potentially, and you don't want this Alienware, you could be potentially waiting a long time for the current gen or next generation as well for AMD is well known for not really supporting their laptop ODMs and OEMs with technical support and a lot of pay for tool and result a lot of manufacturers don't end up tooling up laptops to cater towards AMD silicon and at best AMD silicon per for each brand only get like one or two SKU and that's it. You can count on one hand how much each brand has with AMD Silicon. Which kind of clearly shows AMD OEMs and ODMs clearly have no faith with AMD as a brand to give them a alloc proper allocation that is actually making them, well, profit and reasonable margin and of course volume which in the laptop market you can be the fastest and the most efficient but if you don't have the volume you can't win and with amd they have a few allegation of ai of laptop oems and odm complaining about not getting enough allocation or two they got the allocation but the delivery never came. Best of luck, guys, to getting an AMD Advantage laptop. And if you really be like, yeah, yeah, I can deal with the Alienware bullshit, 
Good luck getting the Alienware M18 Advantage Edition. As always, if you enjoy this video, like the video and subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to share this video to grow this community, share the video and I'll be back with the next video. And I'll see you in the next video.